The Egyptian military is trying to take over the streets of Cairo following a day of deadly protests that threw the nation into chaos. Tanks are on the street in the capital where demonstrators have been chanting against President Hosni Mubarak and destroying images of him. They've also set fire to the ruling party's headquarters and began looting it. Mubarak is the chief subject of the protesters' ire. They're demanding he step down as president. However, the demonstrations were anything but peaceful. Police fired tear gas and rubber bullets into the crowd, which retaliated with rocks and other items. Later, the military was dispatched after protesters defied a nationwide curfew. The country also tried to shut down the Internet in Cairo, and it placed a Nobel Peace Laureate who has been critical of the president under house arrest. The fact that he has to leave, you know, the fact that we have to have a new Egypt, there is no question about it. All of this is being watched closely by the U.S., which is urging both sides to return to civility and for the government to listen to the people. We strongly believe that the Egyptian government needs to engage immediately with the Egyptian people in implementing needed economic, political, and social reforms. The unrest began when tens of thousands of people poured into the streets after noon prayers in the mosques. And these are just the latest protests that have been sweeping across North Africa and the Middle East. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.